shortly after he was in the in the office, uh, the business council was having a meeting in Washington. <coughs> in fact, I told him they ought to invite him over to the White House for a drink. He didn't even know what the business council was. But in that group was Walter, no, not Walter, George Brown of the Brown Root family in, in Austin. Very important, very wealthy in the, in the uh, oil business. And George Brown, after the dinner of the Ad Council was over, not the Ad Council, but the Business Council <coughs> was over, <coughs> he said, Lyndon wants us to come over and have a drink with him. And he asked for you to come with me. Now, Lyndon and, and the Brown brothers were very close. They financed his first campaigns in Congress. They were extremely close. And so I went over, and, and uh, there was a third member there from also from Texas. I've forgotten his name now. And Johnson was showing us around the place. And his, his desk was on wooden blocks about two inches thick and maybe eight inches square. And there were eight, eight of these blocks under the desk. The desk was set up on the thing and it just looked like hell. <laughs> the knee hole was full of wires and, and uh, equipment and uh, certainly anything but presidential. So I said in the course of the evening, good God, that, that desk is terrible. And he said, go ahead and fix it. So I redesigned the base, put a cane panel in front of the knee hole and, and put a new base under the desk, got rid of the blocks. And uh, that's, that's the, oh, the other thing I gave him, it was a three-way television set, so he could watch the evening news on all three networks. I wanted somebody else to catch the, the brunt of his complaints rather than just me. <laughs>